How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is this 2020 Ford F-150 that we built for the Montville, New Jersey Fire Department. <laughs> Um, so taking a look at the top, you can see we have the Enforce light bar in dual color configuration. We actually reused this from the previous vehicle. It was recently upgraded, so it was a great um, way to repurpose a bar. There's, uh, the Enforce bar is a tried and true product that we sell a lot of. Uh, what we, with it, we uh, cleaned up the lenses a little bit, upgraded the feet, and moved along from there. Taking a look at the bottom part of the light bar, we've installed uh, 16 M powers onto the grill. Uh, they are all synced together and they work uh, all the same breakout box. Uh, we've got a headlight flasher installed in the vehicle that's currently on Park Hill. Uh, what we're going to show you next is the vehicle in driver response mode so that you can see the pattern and the light bar change, uh, the grill light change, uh, and then the headlight flasher will activate, um, giving you a more aggressive response pattern. Okay, so now that you can see that we're in drive and response mode, you can see that we've uh, changed up the pattern of the grill, we've added flashing white. We've got our headlight flasher activated, and then we have flashing white into the light bar. And then you'll also notice on the side of the vehicle, all the flashing white is also now active. Uh, in driver response mode, we have the brake kill function. So if somebody's following you, they can see you hitting the brakes of the vehicle. And then we also have the turn signals also built into that to shut off the white. So one of the other features that we have is we have the command feature. So they've chosen to have the green uh, mixed in with the red flashing when you press uh, the beacon button and then you can also see we have our full front scene which gives us our light bar our grill light uh, and then we also have our left and right alley which light up all the white lighting to the left or the right of the vehicle depending on what you do so then what we also have is we've installed horn blasters uh, four conductor train horn kit <laughs> to help with clearing traffic and then we also have um, when the warning lights are on and the siren is active, uh, they have the low frequency siren also onto that. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, um, starting up front on the front fender, we have sound off signal 4-inch M-Powers, they're in dual color. We have sound off signal intersectors underneath the mirror also in dual color. We have three sound off signal 4-inch M-Powers in dual color, they are mounted to the running boards. Uh, the 4-inch M-Powers also have the white override feature for the door to help accent the area when you're getting out of the vehicle. On the sides of the cap, we've got sound off signal 4-inch M-Powers. And then also on the front, uh, the rear fender, we have four inch sound off signal M powers. Um, taking a look at the back of the light bar, we have it in a dual color configuration. And then we also have a LED go light installed with a wireless remote. See, we used all of our 3M premium reflective material to do the graphics package on this. Um, we've done our best to match their existing Tahoe that they have. Uh, we changed the color of the vehicle from white to red. So we did a little bit with the color change, and then we realigned some of the graphics to kind of fit the pickup truck a little bit better. Um, but it does still match their existing fleet. So taking a look in the side compartments of the cap, we've installed pin switches on all the doors. Uh, they serve as two purposes. One is they activate the interior compartment lights that we've installed. In the side compartments, we have uh, single white lights installed. And then um, in the back, we have red whites. But what this pin switch does is it tells the blueprint system to turn the light on. But also what we've done with the matrix is we've tied in this into the park kill signal. So that way, if you have a compartment open and you put the car in drive, the control panel will start to beep to let you know that you have a door ajar. Um, what we've done also is we've installed um, wooden panels that we sprayed with tough coat red. And then we've also urethaned the bottom of the compartment um, what all of this does is this helps take any of the flex out of the compartment and it also takes the tinniness out of it and it also helps protect if they were to drop anything into this. This is a very strong and durable coating. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have an 8-head N4 stick up top. This is in tri-color. Um, it is flashing 
uh, red amber has amber for arrow stick and then has a white override for the scene function um, then you can see on the back of the cap we have sound off signal and powers installed along with underneath the tailgate lip um, this still provides light when the tailgate is up which would block the n4 stick uh, we have six sound off signal hideaway leds that are mounted into the tail lamp housing and then you can see we've done the um, the NFPA style reflective chevron on the back. So taking a look at the hatch, uh, we have Amdor red-white combination lights on the back. So we're able to go from red to white depending on their situation. Um, what we've done different for this customer is they wanted a lot of storage on their slide out. So instead of having the radio chassis taking up a whole bunch of area and the speakers, we came in and fabricated a overhead console for them that mounts up to the top and it gives them room for all four of their radios along with their speakers to shine down on. And then we've custom made a slide out unit for this vehicle. So this is a slide master, thousand pound slide out. Uh, we've given them room for their flashlight chargers, portable chargers. Uh, they have a slide out area for their SCBA. Uh, they can store their gear on the side compartments with the adjustable shelves. Uh, we've got cubbies for other smaller equipment. We have a file drawer installed in the cabinet. And then we have our backdraft custom command board that is backlit. Uh, this was removed from the previous vehicle and reintegrated back into this cabinet to help save on some costs and reuse something that still works out as a great product. On the sides, both sides are identical. Um, we have adjustable shelves behind our work area here. It gives them flexibility to be able to adjust with whatever equipment they may be changing around. So as what we try to do with all of our vehicles is give you easy serviceability with your equipment, easy access to the electronics if you need to troubleshoot something. So we fabricated this electronics closure. It houses our radio chassis, our blueprint central controller, our distribution for all of our power, and allows the customer to be able to check fuses, have access to the timer, we can pro reprogram things very easily and uh, gives them a lot of flexibility with it. It helps keep everything project protected along with out of the way and still keeps everything well ventilated. So with this vehicle, the customer had a, a, a bunch of accessories installed. Um, we have our sound of signal dual color dome light. Uh, we've installed a Roscoe uh, drive cam and then what we've gone in is replaced the AM FM radio with a Kenwood um, GPS enabled uh, dash kit. Looking at the custom console that we've uh, designed for them, um, up top we have our three inch uh, pen pocket. Uh, we have a kill switch for their air horn system. Um, what we've done in the back of the vehicle um, is we've installed the air tanks along with the compressor um, underneath the side boxes to not uh, not have to eliminate the spare tire and uh, give them more storage room. So what happens is is uh, they have the ability to shut the air compressor off by this switch here. So that way at night, if the air tank's running or trying to fill up in the middle of the night, they can shut it off so that it's not disturbing anybody. Um, we have our blueprint control panel. This is the knob version. Uh, the features of it are uh, our arrow stick, takedown left alley, right alley, we have a rear scene function. We have the green command corners. Uh, we have our low frequency siren, and we also have our train horn button. We've installed the customer supplied radios along with a cup holder. We have a storage pocket for maps or any other equipment. And then we've integrated their Knox box and their um, radio charger into the console to allow them easy access of getting it. 